This is my grandson, George. I was going to teach him all about football a year ago, but he really wasn't old enough. He was zero. Now he's a strapping one and a half year old, and it's high time he learned about football and how to be a man. Yeah! So we hit the preschool gym where Coach Marvin and I taught this promising youngster every aspect of the game. Yeah, high five. Yeah, George. Running the ball. Kicking. Yeah! Passing in short yardage situations. <laughs> Whoa, good throw. Big hug. Tackling. Oh, another tackle. Good job. Oh, this is you. You'll be the quarterback. We even drew up some plays. I hope the players can follow this. Yeah, you might be able to. <laughs> <laughs> what he most enjoyed was tossing the ball into a receptacle. Only he knows why. He's learning, but I don't know if it's football. Yeah. We agreed George's real strength was running, amok. So George, men don't play football as much as they watch football. You wanna go in and watch some football? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Manly men come to sports bars to watch football because there's a lot of TVs and there's beer and there's other guys to talk to and you tell jokes. When you learn to talk, you tell jokes. <laughs> we had to forego the beer. The bartender carded George. Football. Football. That a boy. <laughs> George, a hundred million people are gonna watch the Super Bowl on TV. So you want the biggest TV for the biggest game, bigger than anybody else's TV. That's a 55 incher. The salesman agree. Well, it's always going to be the best like immersive experience if you have a bigger TV. Can you imagine the Super Bowl on this television? You want to put it in the glasses? George couldn't quite get the hang of the 3D glasses. <laughs> That's funny. George, can you say lazy boy? There you go. You like these chairs? Yeah. Now, George, for the Super Bowl, you gotta have the biggest, best chair you can get. Yeah. A recliner chair, okay? Is that comfortable? Our salesman guided us to a chair grown men could live in. This one's got a switch on This it. is the chill chair. Chill if, chair. That's correct. If you're ready for the game day, or if you're a big football fan, this is a fantastic chair. It has heat and massage, and most importantly, it has a flip top arm with a cooler. All right. And just when George thought life couldn't get any better, let me turn the massage on for you. <laughs> he likes the massage. <laughs> no course in football would be complete without learning how to throw a Super Bowl party. So George, for a Super Bowl party, there are some basic food groups you have to have. Buffalo chicken wings, pizza, and the party platter. George invited some friends over for a pre-Super Bowl soiree. Yeah. Did all your friends come for the party? Yeah. Yeah. The guests arrived in the Super Bowl spirit. Look at the cheerleader. Hi. None more so than George himself. Are you a football fan? Who do you like in the Super Bowl? The Steelers or the Packers? Don't cry. Don't cry, it's the Super Bowl party. Alas, they were not excited about football. What they were excited about was pizza. Pizza. More pizza? I think George learned a lot on our day of football. Football. Super Bowl? Yeah. Pity then that on Super Bowl Sunday, his bedtime is early in the first quarter. <laughs>